Well, greetings everybody. We are here in Limestone, Tennessee, and we have learned of another Amish type store uh, that we've never been in before. We've been in uh, one a few weeks back down in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. So uh, we're actually up here in uh, the Jonesboro area this weekend, and uh, some friends of ours brought us down here. So we're gonna go in here and check out the uh, Troyer's uh, store here in uh, Limestone, Tennessee, and we're gonna see what it's like, so go with us. So we're gonna walk up to the door here. It looks like on the outside, I see some bird houses to start off with. They do, and something smells good. So we got some bird houses here, outside seating area. If you wanna get you some goodies and bring them out here to eat. More seating down here. All right, so let's go in. Oh yeah, this looks very similar to the one that we were in in Bulls Gap. All kinds of nice smelling soaps there. And oils, what are those oils there for? Lotions, I guess. candles and vitamins this is going to be a lot like the one in Bulls Gap I think um, a lot of the same stuff I'm seeing and over here to this side of the store we've got all kinds of little crafts even a little toy section here for um, children some vintage toys I see like a Rubik's Cube right there Gadget section. More toys. I might spend some time right here. The Tonka trucks. John Deere tractors. A lot of honeys. This is almost identical honestly to the one that we were at the other week but since uh, I asked Shauna if she thought I should do another review of something so similar but since this is in a different part of the state and for people who are in this area you might want to be aware of it oh you found them please tell me that's the oh yes uh, that was my favorite and this one they didn't and this have. is the one they didn't have when I was in Bulls Gap the peaches and creams I'm gonna take a couple of them is that the only one you found no they had more I'm gonna get okay. a cart <laughs> yeah get us a cart <laughs> Okay, I like this place a lot better just because of that. They have the pie I want. I tried uh, the other week. I'm trying to remember what I tried. Um, I think blueberries and cream. That was good. But I wanted the peach. I'm getting it today. So, And some of these toys, I tell you, I remember these from when I was a little boy. Like that. This one here, the little phone. Cheese dips. All those look very good. Well, you can call. Smart to get a smaller cart that way they can't buy too much. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an idea. Garlic stuff. Like that. Is that quail eggs? I think. Pickled beet and quail eggs. Yep. Oh, pig's feet. Pig knuckles. These are good. Pork hocks. I just had a jar of those the other week. Don't know if I'll get another one today or not. Mm -hmm. 
If you're a fan of popcorn, this is your section right here. All kinds of good popcorn seasons. I actually have several jar or bottles of these. I got these at uh, J. Moore Farms in Commerce, Georgia last summer. Several of them. And I like these because you can put those on popcorn. You can put them uh, in Kraft macaroni and cheese for a little bit of extra cheesy flavor. Really, really good that way. Some of the various uh, types of popcorn here. I like the blue popcorn. I think that's really good. I got a little bit of a, a coffee stand here. Bear Tracks Coffee. Shorter, you can go, that's fine. I'm sorry. I'm holding it high. I'm just getting the menu. And here's the pie stand. These are the same kind of pies we got at, uh, that one was Yoder's, wasn't it? Yeah. That this was is Yoder's. Troyer's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do want to try a few more. How many peaches did you get me? I got you two peaches and cream. Okay. They have a cherries and cream cheese, a blueberry and cream cheese. I'm trying to remember what I got. I know I got a blueberry, but I, did I get a cherry and cream cheese? I do not remember. Anyway, they got peaches. They have strawberry rhubarb. They don't have cream I, I think I got, no, we bought a pie. We bought a whole pie. Yeah. Okay. They have a key lime, I think. I can get key lime pie at Publix. Let's see, what's this here? Black raspberry? That's, I got me two of those. Those are my favorite. I'm going to try one of those too. Right. And all kinds of breads, cakes. Now somebody on the last one said we needed to try one of the whoopie pie things here. So that was at Myrtle Beach. Uh, that was the one North Myrtle Beach. Okay, well, I'm getting me one to try. Getting a whoopie pie? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what that's like. Well, yeah, whoopie. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta make those half a pound cakes, so. One half pound cakes. Here's the refrigerated section. Some lemon meringue. Cup Every time we get sandwiches and hot peppers and pizza. Jelly sandwiches. I didn't raise my line. I'm going to put my line for me. Got it? Yeah. Anything new here? What's that here? What do you want? This one? Lime dessert. That actually looks pretty tempting. Okay. Right, here's the vast variety of cheeses. Now, right here, they got the ghost pepper, the Carolina Reaper on the right, and the scorpion. I made a video at the other owner store and I said that the Carolina Reaper was the hottest pepper in the world and I got corrected. Um, somebody says, no, it's the ghost pepper, but it is not the ghost pepper. It is the Carolina Reaper. Um, number one, ghost pepper came in at number three. Trinidad Scorpion's number two. So, I was correct on that. I love cheese. There's a lot of these I'd love to try. The Jumping Jack cheese, that's pretty neat looking. So we got swirly like that. Here's your cheese prices. Let me zoom up. Kinds of good little stuff. There's a garden vegetable. I don't know if that's a spread. That's a soup starter. All kinds of candies.
Yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. Do they have a bigger one of the peach? Just looking. Peach extract's tough to find, folks. And the last time I did find it, it was in these little, almost like little vial things. But uh, I'd like to have a bigger one. Got all kinds of flavors of extracts. Oh, they got powdered gelatin mixes and just about every flavor imaginable. I've seen peach. This is cherry, of course. Unflavored. I'm not sure who would want that. I guess that's jello mix. I'm assuming that's sweetened. I don't know. Grape. They got orange. Looks like We've got blueberry or blue raspberry maybe. That's blueberry gelatin. Fresh meat. Good size Roma tomatoes right there. Some vintage Sunoco gas pumps here. And gas was a dollar nine a gallon. Those were the days. Oh, let's get these Texaco pumps here too. I really like stores like this. Kind of takes you back in time. All right, so apparently if you spend at least $25, which we did, and then some, you get you a free bag, one per customer, mm -hmm. a little carrying bag. So I think we spent about $46. Yeah. We got these last time. These are basically the marshmallows out of Lucky Charms. They're not safe like them, but they taste just like... They're delicious. Yeah. Instead of having to pick through all the other stuff they call cereal and eat the marshmallows, <laughs> we just buy the marshmallows. There you go. I got me some rainbow popcorn. Popcorn? I didn't think that was a bad price for all that. That's like several pounds, probably almost three pounds of popcorn right there. Yeah, 2.9. And of course, a couple of those uh, peaches and cream pies. Uh, and I got black me a white cheddar powder. White cheddar powder. Yeah, you got yeah. black raspberry. You got a whoopie pie. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to try one bite of that. Too. Yeah, I'm going to share with you. And then we got some, some uh, more of the extracts. I found a bigger peach, peach. extract because that's hard to find. And then we got um, cotton candy. Cotton candy. And it's, did you get a blueberry? I think I did. Yeah, blueberry. What? There's one more down there. <laughs> Two cotton candies. Oh, I got two cotton candies. All right. Yeah. So that was our purchase for today. All health food, as you can see. And I had a little caramel that was <laughs> really, really good. Was it good? It was. Over here, I'm not sure what this is over here, but I guess it's connected to this place. Um, looks like some little snack shop or something. I guess you go right up to the window and uh, order. And it looks very popular because there's like 20 people in line. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna see what it is really quick. Right, what that is is a donut place. Oh. Bavarian cream filled, lemon filled, peanut butter chocolate, cinnamon sugar, I chocolate saw some glaze. Of pretzels. Well, it does say yeah, they got a pretzel, pretzel dog. Huh. And coffee. So. All right. But it's mostly, I guess, donuts and pretzels. Mm. Looks like she's making them in there. Cool. There's the building once again, Troyer's Mountain View. I had forgotten the name when I was doing the intro. All right, so we're gonna do a quick closeout. All right, just came out of Troyer's uh, Amish uh, store here in Limestone, Tennessee. Keep forgetting where we are. This is not a part of Tennessee we get to a whole lot. So 
Uh, Shaughnessy, give your impressions of uh, what oh, you I, saw. I thought it was really nice. The building itself is very nice, very new, actually looking. Um, a lot of good selection of stuff. Um, anxious to try my pies again. So. Yeah, exact same brand of pies. And, yeah. um, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was just saying, it, it yeah. was basically like the same at Yoder's that we went to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's very yeah. nice. Yeah, we did a review about three weeks ago at Yoder's in Bulls Gap, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Very similar store, a lot of the same brands of stuff, like I was talking about the pies. Um, those pies are really out of this world. You yeah. gotta get some of those. I'm anxious to try the peach. They did not have that the other week, but they did have it here. So I'm gonna get to try it. Uh, a lot of the same stuff. They even had the sandwich shop in there where you can order and um, get your deli sandwiches. And I know the deli sandwiches, we didn't get those today, but those were really, really good. They were very generous with the meat at Yoder's. I'm sure it's the same way here. Sure it is, yeah. But very similar type store. Said this is in the northeast part of Tennessee, uh, just south of Jonesboro. So if you happen to be up in this way or in the Tri-Cities area, uh, you ought to drive down here and uh, give this place a try. Uh, I think you'll like it. So thanks for watching. And like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.